This is smithy.tv. So we are in the studio again. It just doesn't stop. Yes. It doesn't stop. It's good. And we did not plan this. We were both wearing Star Wars shirts. It was not planned. It's cool, but it wasn't planned. Uh, so once again, we're Mind Reels on Smithy. This is Sue. This is Tim. Hello. We are with Alex Oderov today. Look at that. I totally got that. Yeah, you're on this one. Oh, that yeah. one. <laughs> there we go. I'll move this way. And uh, yeah, you've, uh, we like to start, of course, with the best question ever, your mm -hmm. all-time favorite movie. My all-time favorite movie. Yeah. Um, or one I don't think there's an all-time, <laughs> but there's a, there's a, like Donnie Brasco. Ooh. Donnie Brasco is a good one. American Psycho. Um, a few a few ones I just recently watched. The The Place Beyond the Pines. Yeah. I like that one. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Flight I just seen. I haven't uh, done that one yet. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay. It's, it's on my Netflix. So yeah. I watch that. Mm. Okay. Netflix did too. So. Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't yeah. love Netflix? Yeah. But I feel like I don't watch movies enough. You know, that's, that's, I feel like that should be my homework as an actor. But um, I feel that's like exactly what I was doing at I your feel age. Like I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. still doing it. Yeah, I'm still doing it. Still, there's always more homework to do. Totally, but there's yeah. a lot of good stuff out there to be watching anyway. Yeah, those, those exactly. are good choices. Then Gary, then Ross. Oh right. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. We just saw the. Uh, Stage yeah. production. Yeah. Yeah. Was that right? Yeah. Where it was? Uh, it was over on Ozington, the Ozington the Theater. Lower, lower yeah, Lower Ozington Theater. Oh, in Toronto, yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Our friend Gabe Grave was in that. I can say friend. Gabe. Yeah. Gabe's our buddy. Gabe <laughs> 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 Which was great, but yeah, I love the movie. Mm -hmm. that, oh, that movie's awesome. I should dig that in. Some heavyweights on that one, huh? Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> All around. All I wonder around. what the inflation rate would be on paying that cast again <laughs> now compared to what it was then. Because oh. it had to be pretty substantial at the time. Yeah. Even, let alone. The script by David Mamet. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's. Oh, that's. Yeah. Yeah. Now you were you're Russian born. Yes. And then moved. You like spent like a couple years in England, mm -hmm. and then you moved to Canada. And yeah. You you kind of been bouncing between your mom and your dad, basically. <laughs> from what I hear. Yeah. From what I've read. No, yeah. I've been around. I've been around. Yeah. I was um, when I was six years old, I came to England. Nice. Um, so I lived there for three years, back and forth again. My parents huh. um, separated when I was about five years old, but it was a smooth separation. Oh, I nice. I didn't feel like they separated. I was. I kind of saw. You know, my mom in England, saw my dad, and in Russia, Ukraine, you know, it was kind of nice. It wasn't, I didn't feel like, oh, they're split, and I'm affected, and I gotta be an outcast. And now I'm angsty, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. I get to go to cool places. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I got two rooms, right? I get two rooms, yeah. I got two TVs. But, uh, yeah, it was good. So, um, I lived in, lived in England, you know, three years. I uh, went to school. That was my first experience with English. My mom just kind of threw me into the, the English world, and... Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you know, literally, it was, there was no ESL, there was nothing, there was nothing mm -hmm. to, for me to, you know, there's no template. You right. just kind of threw wow. me in and said, learn, kid, just, <laughs> just run do wild. Yeah, <laughs> Which is kind of the best way to learn, really, I guess. Yeah, especially for kids, right? I mean, they grab yeah. yeah. languages. Yeah, right? yeah, I remember my first right. word was, was cat. Well, it was very simple, That's three awesome. words. Yeah, and then uh, there was one time where the teacher, I, I had no idea of English, my teacher, you know, we finished our homework or um, schoolwork, I guess, and everybody was playing. So the teacher said, 
okay, go, go, play, go, play. And I'm just standing there, I'm just looking at her. Go, play, play. <laughs> I have no idea what she's saying. I, it, it's one of those, I remember which, what she was saying now. Yeah. But at that time, I'm just like this, like, deer in the headlights. I just, like, what is she saying? What do I do? Just, you know, Am I in trouble? <laughs> yeah. I was kind of, you know, conf- I was constipated. You know, <laughs> oh, what's happening? There's no more Yorkshire puddings. I don't know. <laughs> I love English yeah. cooking. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but then, yeah, and then your mom moved over here, and then you follow, yeah. you followed her after that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. after England, and um, I went back to Russia, spent some time there again, and it was a, it was a difficult process to get me to, to Canada. That's right, yeah, I read that. It took like a couple of years. It took about three yeah. years, yeah. That's yeah, and we tried, and we tried, and then something happened with a lawyer, and then they couldn't get me back. And then, so I stayed with my dad, and then I, was, uh, I didn't see my mom for three years. Wow. And then finally, wow. yeah, it was a whole bunch of medical tests. We were, we were going to the... To the capital of the Ukraine, you know, me and my dad were, were constantly from train to train, from city to city, you know, doing all these wow. tests. It was it was a difficult time, yeah, but it, it was kind of I didn't I didn't take it as well. Why do I have to do this? You know, mm-hmm. yeah. like, oh, this is this is stupid, stupid, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, oh, you know, kind of thing. But I just kind of took it as as things go. You know, I wasn't totally. a kid that that uh, rebelled or anything. You know, my dad said, no, just. All right, you're going. You're going to camp. Pack your underwear. I'm like, all right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> pack your underwear. Cool. Cool. You're going to camp for three months. You know, like, cool. Let's, let's do it. You know, pack your underwear. Yeah, pack your underwear. <laughs> yeah, that's, I kind of remember that. <laughs> it's a real moment. Pack your underwear. That's you're, awesome. You're, you're that's good advice. To, yeah, you're going to camp. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yes. Yeah, and then and then uh, everything happened. And mm-hmm. I, I, I got uh, came to Canada when it was a 12, 13, and then a grade seven, right? Yeah. And and then again, I mean, I still knew English yeah but then I, I remember I came here and everything everybody was speaking so much faster than I remembered and it was just overwhelming um, and with an accent and with an accent <laughs> yeah and I'm just you know this little Russian boy was, was just a little self esteem and just you know shy and everything trying to make friends my mom bought me these these Jordan shoes that cost back then cost like $200 right so I think it was for me to kind of you know get some kind of respect oh, totally. from the kids, yeah. right? Yeah. So everybody's like, "Oh, he's the kid with the expensive shoes. Like, he's the rich. He's the rich kid." Like, yeah, like, these are no, the shoes. just like yeah. just like shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they were, they were nice shoes. But you know, I didn't really care much for shoes or clothing too much. But these kids seemed to care, you know, and it was nice. Right? Yeah, because it's a completely different society yeah. over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally, mm-hmm. totally. Yeah, and you know, kind of coming from Russia it was. Almost this unbelievable dream to come, you know, to the states or Canada. It was yeah. right, it yeah. was kind of you know unimaginable, really. You know, when I would come back for vac- for vacation mm-hmm. to my dad, um, he's still there um, for vacation. I would come back to the school, and, and um, all the teacher and all the students would be like, "Oh my God, he's the, he's in Canada now!" And he came back. Like, how was it there? Wow. Like, <laughs> like what, what, how, how does it work? You know, what's what's happening? How is it over there? I'm like, yeah. I'm in Canada. Everybody talks mm-hmm. really fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and shoes are a big deal. Yeah. But then I kind of felt, I felt, I felt good, you know. I felt good. <laughs> wow. Now, at what point did you get bit by the acting bug? By the acting bug? Yeah. Um, fully, fully, I guess I got bit when I was watching Disney Channel. Nice. And it was weird, you know, because I, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't the, the, the most popular kid. I wasn't the most, you know... I didn't have a good, very good self-esteem, so I saw these kids on Disney Channel. They're having so much fun, and they're right. just all outgoing. They're just you know going big and all this. So I was like, well, this looks so cool. You know, I want to be there. So then mom kind of took me to one of those radio things. Oh, nice, yeah. So I went there, and then you know they did this whole deal. You know, three thousand dollars for headshots and this and acting classes. So we didn't do it. And then, somehow, <laughs> and then well, at that time later, a year later, mom was taking um, dialect um, classes for speech. Um, Accent reduction, right? From uh, Walter Alza, and then she uh, she realized he's taking he does acting classes too. So she kind oh, of nice. so she brought me to him, and I was the youngest student. He says, you know, I don't I don't take young kids, but I said I'll give him a shot. You know, so I did a private with him. Cool. I was nervous as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it was really intimidating. Is this you know Argentine? Is this Latino? He's got this you know goatee going on, and it's you know really intense looking. And I'm just oh, so yeah. shy. He he got me doing this monologue from uh, 25th Hour. You guys, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, like, when he stares in the mirror, yeah. he's like, "Fuck this, fuck that, fuck the squeegee man," you know this. Yeah. So he told me to do it. It was a cold read, right? Wow. I've never done anything in my life. So he, you know, in front of camera, he's like, "Okay, you got 15 minutes to learn this." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's wow. crazy. Yeah. So and then and then after that, I started, you know, continue taking privates and privates, 
for like a year or so, and then he asked me to take um, uh, adult classes to be within the adults. Cool. I was still the young. I was, I was still the youngest one. And you know, there's people 25 years old, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, and I was acting with them at that point. Wow. <laughs> and I mean, it was heavy cool. material. It wasn't like you know Disney Channel stuff. Yeah. It was like yeah. I mean, it was like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. It was like Al Pacino stuff. Yeah, like, where's the dancing and the <laughs> singing? <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't even I wasn't even into that. You know, I was just kind of acting. It was just so so cool. You know? Yeah, it just it seemed so different. So it was so that's, interesting. That's yeah. way good. And you get to turn it right on its head, like from your actual personality. You just get to turn it right upside down and be something that say stuff you'd never say exactly. <laughs> in your everyday life and exactly. do stuff you would never do. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I that, do that every day. That would help for self esteem. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not, not true. No, that's, oh, man. That's, and just, because I had one of those international upbringings as well because I was an Air Force brat, so I got to live all kinds of places. So I'm thinking that growing up between all these places, you come to the table with a uh, with more open view about a lot of things, especially when it comes to acting, that there's, you can see the potential in different roles and characters and how you would play it as opposed to just straight, this is the way an American would play it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think my mind kind of works li- like this anyway. You know, like oh, I'm always looking at things uh, as a, for the first time. You know, I'm, you know, first time I came here in the studio. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. This, this is awesome. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. This is so great. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm always. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like you know we got these mics and and everything. This is so sweet, right? So I, yeah, I think I, I you know I, I look at things different ways, right? And I and I kind of don't tend to just you know look at it and. I like to find out where this person is coming from. Sure. I mean, because my life has been, you know, a journey, right? mm-hmm. and you can't, you know, you can't say you know, you know, you know me just by by this, you know, right. I'm telling you my story, yeah, the whole thing, right? Yeah. And there's more, obviously. So there must be more to to characters and the totally. people that are that I'm portraying, or the people that I, I get to read on scripts, right? That's true. So, so there's always something deep. And you know. You, I think both of our introduction to you as an actor was Blackbird, yeah. which was, what, mm-hmm. two years ago now? Yeah. Which, and I got a chance to watch it over the weekend, so I'm a little behind. Sue's so <laughs> like, make sure you watch this, and I, I did. That's not a tip. That's <laughs> not a tip. Actually, I think I put that in my, my top... I think it was, yeah. Top ten or whatever list yeah. we did that year. So. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Trevor is... He's a harsh character, but you've played. There's a vulnerability that you let out mm-hmm. just through your performance, which is fantastic. Thank you. And I was just like, because initially I'm like, this kid scares the crap out of me. <laughs> I know, <laughs> really, yeah. He's <laughs> like, why is he so mean? <laughs> but it was so like, good. Like, don't hurt little Connor Jessup. <laughs> <laughs> He's and, not there for the right reasons at all. And now meeting you, it's I can say without bias or anything that you are a fantastic actor because you are not that character in any way i mean you know you're at all no your persona is different (laughs) you're a lot more relaxed i'm like okay this guy this kid's got some chops i mean you scared me as trevor until the very end of course no spoilers Um, (laughs) but it's dude you got chops thank you I mean, I was like, holy crap. <laughs> well, I think the thing with Trevor, too, is that you did play him as a, a full, fleshed-out person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that back. sort of made me root for him. Like, I wanted to, like, I'm like, come on! <laughs> There's got to be, like, a good kid in there Something somewhere. Weird, yeah. It's not just this hard shell, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, somebody's got to get to him and just break him once, and then he'll, yeah. he'll be... He'll let himself be more himself, as opposed to putting up this facade that he, mm-hmm. everybody else was seeing. Yeah. yeah. Now, you learned, I think, the night of the premiere that he was actually based on an actual guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize it was, it, it was, uh, I mean, I did a whole bunch of research. I didn't realize it was based on, 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 uh, on somebody, you know, Jason, Jason Buxton picked, um, or kind of, you know, saw and kind of based this character on. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really know that. <laughs> now, <laughs> so how I, do you I don't research know, I don't, that? How do I research? Well, yeah. well I mean, uh, first I mean, I did guess, you go to Juvie? No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to do that. I didn't, didn't get a chance. Well, that's <laughs> all. Yeah, well, I didn't get the chance. It was, uh, just didn't get the opportunity. No, no. I just. I mean, I guess I looked at him. Okay, so I mean, first thing you, you read is you know he's a prison kid, right? Oh, tough guy, jail man, bad guy, right? So okay, so I mean, that's the first layer. That's mm-hmm. the first layer, right? So you kind of search, you know, the kids that are in jail, how they behave and how they interact. What's the power right. struggle between you know the new kids that come in and the and the alpha dogs in the prison that have been there for a while and, uh, you know, how they act, how they react, and how they just interact. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and what, what's, what's really, you know, hidden, hidden them? 
because you know so sometimes that you see these do documentaries too right um, reality shows I mm. guess they're 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 kind of nice because you get kind of get to see um, the reality too so and then um, the the backstory right how they got there yes. not, not just yeah. the not just that just so yeah that's uh, Who's and then, I guess, and, then, and, and not, ju just, not, not, not just from um, not just from the research, but then, you know, start building for myself, right? Yeah. Kind yeah. Of start, you know, start kind of writing the biography and kind of creating from the imagination what yeah. could have happened. Sometimes you kind of go overboard, you know, these extreme situations. But it's again, it's it's in me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't you don't see the biography, but I. But you yeah, you got it's, 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 it's a launching point for you. Yeah. 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 yeah so it could be extreme. Yeah. It doesn't matter as long as I get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I kind of build it from. The inside and the outside, yeah. It was good. It was good. Yeah, especially, I mean, Trevor's not a big guy. You're not a big guy no. <laughs> compared to some of those no, other guys that are in there. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, watching the movie. And unless like, he wants to get the shit kicked out of him every day, then he's got to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's got to be tough enough to yeah. not make anybody want to try. And now, did sorry. some working out to do for the, for that though. Um, I don't know when I, when they were shooting. I said, okay, Alex, you kind of might want to uh, go start going to the gym a bit, just a just bit, a bit, yeah. 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 So I gained ten pounds in a month. I did did some, did some uh, you know, training and stuff like that. So it was good. That was a nice. That was a nice point. I was one fifty then. That was the max I've ever been. I'm, wow. I'm a tiny guy. I have a really fast <laughs> metabolism. I can eat so much, but I hate you. <laughs> I hate Most it. people do. Most people do. I'm getting with kid. this. This kid. <laughs> getting there. Getting there every day. It's getting better and better. That's, That's true. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and now. You're in Toronto. You're doing a whole bunch of episodic work. Uh, you've done a Ricky Blue. Yeah. Uh, the one that, of course, really has piqued our interest, and we know you can't say a lot about it, is the fact that you're on Orphan Black this season. Orphan Black. <laughs> this little show. <laughs> yeah, next season. Next Which season. Which is like, really exciting. You're, are you in the premiere? or First episode. Yeah. yeah. So Just that's like episode. a couple of weeks away that's, then. Like yeah. April 19th, is it? Something is it? Like I thought it was closer like to the beginning of April. No, it's, well, it's, it's sometime 19, 20, yeah. Yeah. or something like that. Yeah, 21st. Yeah, because Game of Thrones is the 6th. <laughs> I've got like you know so that. many. Yeah. Yeah. You know that. And I'm fairly sure that Orphan Black is like, I thought it was the 16th or the 19th, but somewhere right in there. Yeah. Mm, so really, sense. you're right in there from the get go. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Yeah. It was actually, it was, um, I got the audition for Orphan Black. Um, Coconut Hero is a feature film mm -hmm. that is, is, is now shooting. In July, August, they're still um, playing around, juggling some things right now. So, um, but it was supposed to be. I got the part, and I was supposed right. to be shooting September 2013. Okay. Right? Late September, and I was I was getting ready for it and everything, and then I got the call from my agent. They said postponed it. Postponed <laughs> it. I mean, I literally started spending money that I didn't have. Right. I was supposed to get a <laughs> nice amount of money. And I was, you know, as an actor in Toronto, it's nice. So and then they postponed it. And I'm like. Damn it. <laughs> what do I do? I mean, I was a bit, I was really upset. I was like, my God, you know, how did this happen? How did I manifest this? You know, how does, yeah. how did any of this happen? So, and then, then a few days later, I got the call. I said, okay, you got an audition for from Black. I'm like, awesome. Okay, Where? let's get back on track now. Let's just forget about this. Get back on track. And, and then, uh, then I got the part and I was like, okay, yeah. come back. This is fine. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, we don't expect character names or anything like that, but. Did you get to work with Tad? Mm -hmm. I did. Did you? I did, but I didn't. I see. I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't do any really much research on it before. When I even when I when I, before I got the part and then when I got to set, I didn't do too much. I didn't really know where from Black was. That's fair. So um, yeah. So and then I got to set and I'm I uh, I met Tatiana, but I didn't know she was Tatiana. Know, right? so she could be Tatiana. Yeah, yeah basically, yeah. she's that good. Yeah, you know, I, just kind of, I was like, okay, well, she's 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 the actress that I'm acting with, and this is the situation, and this is what's happening. Well, that's kind of a good way to go into it for it your is. character. That's, that's yeah. the thing, right? Yeah. So, so um, there's um, there's a the relationship that I just know what the characters are about, and so there was no not much pressure that she's Tatiana. <laughs> now that she's been around, and then you're like, and oh my like, god, you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. Like, holy crap, you know, this is so. And then one thing we got the second day on, on set, and then she was there, and then kind of a different energy kind of started spiral, spiral, spiraling, spiraling, spiral, 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 spiraling, 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 you know, it's more like, I have to just calm down, you know, <laughs> you have to just, you know, I don't want to bother the, the star, right? <laughs> but before that, we were just kind of like back and forth, you know, friends, and it was this and that, but you know, afterwards, it was, it was all patched off, so it's good, but it, it was really exciting. Way good. I'm really excited for the launch and it was right. a good shoot, yeah. Have you been able to go back and watch the first season yet? 
Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I love. I love. I love Orphan Black, and not just because I'm in it, but um, it's know. addictive. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it is. a great show. Yeah, it's a really great show. They pull no punches right from the beginning, and it's yeah. like, well, I guess I'm on this ride now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I, t- mm-hmm. I think I've told the story where I've showed it to uh, to to my sweetie, and we watched like the first two episodes one night. I said, just just see, watch, see what you think. And she's like, can we watch another one? Can we watch another one? Okay. And we went and did the entire first season in like the space of two days. And wow. uh, yeah, just, yeah. yeah. So good. Same with me. When I just kind of, oh, yeah. I, you know, when I start a show, Orphan Black just finished it in like, two days yeah. or so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, don't, I tend to kind of stay away from, you know, people say, oh, have you seen The Wire? Have you seen this? Have you seen that? I'm like, no. I, too many seasons. <laughs> no. <laughs> too many seasons. It's just going op- op- to take over my life. Yeah. You know, like Breaking Bad or Dexter. Yeah. I finished Dexter's eight nice. seasons, right? Yeah. But, I just could not, you know, that's all I'm thinking about. You know, I gotta watch. You gotta this, commit to that time. Episode, yeah. And then I gotta watch another one, then it's yeah. three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a six Man, o'clock call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first two seasons of Dexter, and then I started hearing his voice narrating my life, like, throughout the day, and I was like, I've gotta take a break from this show. Yeah. And get, and, but I haven't gotten back to it, so I still haven't finished it. I just got, like, the first two. See, that's I'm just gonna start at the beginning again. Mm-hmm. Up here, it's, it's, it's Sam and Thomas. Because both of them, Quantum Leap and Magnum P.I., because in both series, the character has an internal yeah, monologue all the time. Yeah, so that happens all the time up here. <laughs> <sighs> I deal with it. <laughs> I deal with it. Yeah. Now, of course, you did Ricky Blue. You've done Orphan Black. Do you prefer genre or do you prefer dramedy now? Or dramedy, drama. Or dramedy. <laughs> dramedies are good. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, I'm just well, different. I guess, I guess I'm more, more com- comfortable with drama. That's you know, but that's something um, not not really been too good with comedy because it's comedy is a whole different element. Oh it's my tiny god! And yeah. and it's yeah. You gotta play around and yeah. all that business, right? But um, I mean that's something that's that's I'm, I'm working on. You know, something that's it's a challenge right now, right? Sure. Kind of step out the comfort zone. Yeah. And in classes, right? Like you know, when I when I take classes, then they, they give me these scenes and you know try to kind of step out the boundaries and yeah. nice. just you know play however you want to play and just let it go, right? Kind of thing. Um, but, but I mean, there's obviously comedic em- elements in drama. In oh yeah. Everywhere, right. So yeah. Just, life is a comedy. It's just. You need it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You have to break it oh, up a little yes. bit. Exactly. <laughs> and you, need, you know, great actor. You got to find those 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 elements, right? Yeah. But, um, but I'm, I I don't, I prefer you know, drama right now mm-hmm. as opposed to this you know kind of. The, the over the top big comedy, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even sitcom, you know. Um, no, never, I never really felt like I was, I was, I was too good at it, right? But um, yeah, it could be a challenge. Yeah, it definitely is. But yeah. something. I'm just gonna, I don't think just I could ever do it. a sitcom because I would just find everything funny, and then <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stop. Even if somebody was so, like, I'd say something and I think it's funny, I would still laugh at what I just said. <laughs> That's how. That I would be every so bad. Day, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I do that. I. Just give me a second. I'll, yeah. The next thing It'll I say, I'll probably yeah. think it's funny. That's what she said, jokes, and then she'll just giggle off by herself for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Can we do yeah. another one, guys? <laughs> yeah, I don't even need to leave. Well, one more for the camera. One more for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm just. You're in a great place, like, not only as an actor, but geographically in Toronto. I mean, there's so many opportunities, especially right now in Canadian television and film. Mm-hmm. Indie film right now is taking off in Canada. I mean, it was always big. Yeah. But now it's just kind of blossoming. Mm-hmm. And, and you're definitely in the right place for it. And yeah, at your age, yeah, you'll be getting all the roles. And people like me who always wanted to be an actor and then weren't, <laughs> don't get anything. You still get to be in Canada. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I do. But I think that's fantastic. Now, is there is there a show that shoots in town, or is there a or is there even a series that you would like to guest on, or even take over a starring role at some point? I'd like to I'd like to come back on Orphan uh, Black at some point. Oh, so your character's not dead? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that they can clone. They can clone shit. That's right. They can clone yeah. shit. That's never mind. <laughs> See how I was just fishing for that spoiler, folks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> catch it. But, um, um, I, I, I don't really know. I don't really know too many things that are filming at the moment. Um, I guess I'll just take, oh, yeah, right. I'll take an opportunity. Oh yeah, Lost Girl's coming back. Yeah. Mm, the Lost, Lost Girl. Lost Girl. Lost Girl. Yeah. Mm. Very or genre. Yeah. 
Yeah, the listeners Satan about Hope. to start. Satan, Satan Hope was fucking mm. amazing this last season. <laughs> I can't stop talking about it. No, and she hasn't, Saving Hope, so you should probably get us on set. I'm just saying. <laughs> Erica Durant's call me. <laughs> just saying. She's cute. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. That whole cast <laughs> is, like, stupid pretty. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, I just, uh, I just, I like the fact of where you're at. I mean, at your age, early 20-somethings, folks, mm-hmm. um, you've got, like, a really good head on your shoulder. I mean, I was nowhere near as as balanced as you seem to be. I'm still not. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it just you're the adult at this table. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. <laughs> no pressure. So good on. It just it, it bothers me. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Did you say it bothers you? No, it boggles me. It boggles me. I'm just wow. you're pissing me off, man. Wow. Yeah. And you've got, he's got this whole, I, I don't know if it translates on camera or not, but he's got this whole zen thing going, and I thought I was pretty zen, but he's got this whole zen thing zen going. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, I try to be, I try to, yeah. you know, I'm, 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 I like to think myself as a spiritual person, I like to think of things as, you know, more than what they are, oh. more than <laughs> matter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, matter. totally. Yeah. Totally. Now, Which comes for n- probably having so, not, I don't want to say upheaval in your early life, but... Um, you know, if you've been not acclimatized to change, it would be seen as like traumatic, or, right? I see what you're saying. Or an yeah. upheaval to have that much change going yeah. on all the time, and to have that much out of your control. So that to like just sort of like let things happen. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever yeah. I can affect, I can affect, and what I can't, I can't. Yeah, I like to think that everything happens, you know, to my greatest advantage. Yeah, just you know, it's a good way to look just at kind it. of you know, mm-hmm. just. You know, if I, I I was running today and I kind of lost my um I was running with my headphones and and I'm listening to audiobooks right self help nice. stuff because I need help <laughs> but no <laughs> yeah self improvement stuff right um and then I was just I decided to ju- do this sprint just kind of just wanted to just go for it just really run and then my um I thought my iPod my little iPod fell out and I was like great you know I'm I'm so excited but just lost my iPod. <laughs> like, well, how did this happen? Like, I'm running and I'm feeling great. You know, isn't this supposed to, everything's supposed to kind of turn out to my advantage? And I'm like, well, fuck, this sucks, you know? <laughs> I'm just looking for it. I'm like, life. okay, well, maybe, you know, maybe someone else is supposed to find it. Maybe someone else is supposed to listen to the stuff that's on it. And then wow. I'm like, well, okay, you know, it's fine. So I decided to kind of still look for it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's still there. And then, it's not the end of the world. And but then, but my mind changed, right? At that point, my, my, my mind shifted from like, damn, I lost my, my, my iPod. The life sucks. You know, how this morning just sucks. But And it's like, Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> like, how, how, how awesome Cold. this is. It just sucks, right? No, I just changed my, my attitude. And then, um, and then, boom, I just go in my pocket and it's there. Like, oh, <laughs> Man. This is great. Yeah, you know, it's like. I, it was just trapped in my mind, and I and I believe that if I did not get out of that, it was yeah, it would actually it wouldn't be, be gone. Yeah. Somehow, you know, just somehow it would be just altered, and everything would just be gone, and you know, but I changed my mind, and everything's great, and I'm here. Wow, <laughs> maybe somebody else needs cool. more than I do. No, no, so, I, I need it. <laughs> no, I do need it. That's me. <laughs> now you live here in town. Are you? This is not meant in a derogatory way. Are you still living with your mom? Or are you out on your own? What are you doing? I'm living with my mom. I'm living Excellent. with my mom, yeah, and I'm, nice. and I'm really grateful that she, you know she supports me. I was gonna yeah, ask, I mean, very much yeah, because so. it sounds like yeah, your mom's gotten behind you. What does your dad think? My dad, he's fully behind this yeah. too. You know, yeah, I mean, arts was kind of in my family. I have two step, steps, two step sisters, and back in Ukraine, and nice. they were extremely artsy. I mean, singing, dancing, and, and oh wow, and, and piano, just brilliance all over the place. I could never really find my. My, my niche or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and I mean, now I tell him, you know, like, I'm doing this, I'm doing, I'm doing movies, you know, and, <laughs> right. and he's like, wow, oh, continue, how's, your, how's the, he calls it the, uh, the acting master, you know, that, that's the direct term um, in English, um, okay. master stvo, right, and, you know, he would say that, and I'm like, well, it's doing good, I'm, I'm still working, <laughs> on, you know. yeah, and I'm, I'm really thankful, you know, I'm really that's grateful cool. that they supported, um, yeah. you know, my passions, yeah. Yeah. Totally. passions, yeah. Yeah, now, Looking down the road, maybe 10, 20 years, mm-hmm. do you still see yourself acting? Do you want to do something else? Do you want to like be a doctor? Doctor for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. How did you yes. pull that out? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you just read my mind. I do that. That's Would cool. you expand to like writing or directing? Oh, anything? yeah. Hmm. Well, not at this stage. I can't really see yeah. myself. Perhaps maybe later. I do some writing, you know. Um, 
nothing, nothing really scripty. I, I write, you know, my character stuff, character mm-hmm. development stuff. I also, you know, keep like a journal, so it keeps me kind of in the, in the yeah. writing um, business, I guess. But um, I see myself acting. Yeah, I see myself nice. acting as a long term thing, as a long term okay. goal. As I stay, I plan to stay in the game. Totally. And um, plan to make it to the top. Yeah. That's you know, mm-hmm. it's <laughs> it's. A Why plan. plan to do less? <laughs> right? like, if you're gonna go, you can always not quite com- complete the plan, but you know, if you're gonna, just try for it. You're just gonna, yeah, you're gonna short shift yourself Absolutely. if you if you don't plan to. Yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Just yeah. like we do. That's right. We plan it mostly, right? We're doing yeah. a good job. Failing yeah, to plan are. is planning to fail. So you gotta plan. Stop it! <laughs> I'm blown! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, what just what happened? Wait, this kid, this Zen kid just came just in, just came like in blowing just... my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life, right there, folks. <laughs> so, what else have you got? Uh, like, oh, of course, Orphan Black's coming up. But what else mm-hmm. have you got on the uh, on the go? You've got like Coconut Heroes. You said is going to start shooting. Like later this year, then? Yeah, later okay. this year. Yeah, yeah, it's still kind of in um, pre production nice. stage. So um, something happened that it got delayed. Um, I'm not really sure, but um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, nice. July, August. Oh, there's your second yeah, film. Yeah, I'm shooting for 30 days. I'm the lead in the film every single day. Okay. So it's really exciting. Yeah. What's it about? <laughs> I it's, can't... it's about this, this kid. I'm playing 16 again. You know, it's gotta be tough. Yeah, it's, <laughs> keep it up as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Michael J. Fox was doing it into his thirties. So right. come on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm playing this. Uh, I'm playing this 16 year old kid who's uh, who's kind of looking at life really negative and thinks life sucks and he's living in this little town, who just claustrophobic and everything. So gotcha. at that point he's suicidal. You know, he thinks that I, I just doesn't fit to this structure. Doesn't feel fit like feel like he fits in this world. Doesn't feel like you know he's the an outcast, you know, kind of mm-hmm. like, no, I don't want to, it doesn't feel like I want to be here, so, so um, he's suicidal, tries to attempt suicide, fails miserably. <laughs> I can't then, even do that. <laughs> yeah, I can't even do that. And then, and then later he discovers that he gets, uh, he got brain tumor. Wow. But again, he takes that as a, as a positive. He takes like, wow, I don't have to try so hard anymore. <laughs> he's like, this is great. It's going to happen this anyway. This is going to take yeah. care of itself, so I don't have to like, this is just awesome. I'm just going to let life take its course, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to die anyway, you know. It, it doesn't want to. It's a, it's a comedy. It's a dramatic comedy. So, okay. um, it's not so serious. It's not like you know I'm suicidal. It's drama. Yeah. You know, but um, but yeah. And then some things happen to him that you know kind of realizes that this thing called life might be worth living after all. Hmm. You know, kind of falls in love with this girl. You know that story. I hate that story. Always a yeah. chick. No, but it's really interesting. <laughs> it's always a girl. It's really interesting the way it's written, and um, I'm really. Happy to be in it. Cool. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Now you said you were doing some. You were listening to some audiobooks while you were running it with your self help. What are you What are you looking to do? What am I looking to do? Yeah, like with your self help. Are you? Yeah. Well, I guess constant self improvement. I think you know every day is a performance, right? How can you? Jeez. How can I perform better today than I did yesterday? Right. I so, hate this kid. I hate, <laughs> I hate him. Yeah. yeah, just like you know my daily little wins. What you know, I just kind of started doing this thing again, and I kind of felt like I felt I fell off track, mm-hmm. and um, you know, felt like you know everything's kind of going stale, you know. Um, so I kind of got back on track, you know, got back on this whole thing, and then uh, yeah, what am I planning to do? I'm planning to just improve myself, and nice. it's, it's always you know they give they give you tools and they give you insights and they give you, you know, these little. Things that you know, just just the mindset, the mindset for greatness. Wow! Right? Cool. Because <laughs> we're we're. You it, and it takes that. Like <laughs> yeah. you can't force stuff to happen to you. No. Sometimes it, but it does. A lot of it has to do with gratitude. Oh, totally. Your head's at. Absolutely. Totally. Absolutely. I mean, we've got those weeks where it seems nothing happens with the show and the blog, and then like last week, it, everything <laughs> just went boom again. It was, mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, even between when I emailed you, I'm like, oh, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, or Friday, or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, you're like, Tuesday would be great. I'm like, actually, we've already got something yeah. Tuesday now. Yeah, I just filled just up that like this. Man, it's insane. It's so it's tomorrow. Yeah. It's yeah. tomorrow. That's yeah. great. We're doing, yeah, we do that tomorrow night. And then Canadian Screen Awards. Screen Awards on Sunday night. It's just, oh. It's exploding. Right? Comic Con all weekend. Yeah, Comic Con all weekend. Yeah, so you do all this. Stuff. Mm-hmm. What do you do to relax? This is like my relaxing. Well, I like to. I like to. My my hobbies. I, I do yeah. magic also. Get out of town. <laughs> really? That's amazing. No. Press yeah. the digitation. <laughs> yeah. A little, yeah. 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 Cards, coins. Um, I was kind of obsessed about magic for for a little bit. 
Yeah, so again, it's a, it's this attention thing, you know, uh, you know, kind of get feeding this energy, you know. Yeah. I think that was even right after I started acting. It was kind of magic acting. I was obsessive wow. about it, so I, you know, constantly practice every day. My nephew um, was doing yeah, a lot of square yeah. and stuff exactly. too. For yeah, a while. yeah. So I was really obsessive about that. I performed down that, down, down that square in the summer. Yeah, just kind of you know street magic. Just walk up to people, say, "Hey, what are you guys doing? You guys, this your coin?" I'm like, oh, you know. That kind of stuff. And I did get freaked out. I just walk away and they're like, whoa. What's <laughs> just happening? Yeah, that you know, kid just did it. Hey, David Blaine, Chris Angel kind of stuff, right? It's yeah. not so formal, just very yeah. casual. Walk up and do some magic and walk away. Don't really ask for money. Sometimes they give you some, some cash. I'm like, oh, thank you guys. <laughs> I appreciate that, right? Kind of thing. And I do some busking for a little while. Nice. Yeah, with my friend. With, um, I think I got some YouTube videos of me busking in there. Really? Yeah. Wicked. Yeah, they're okay, you know. <laughs> okay. But you know, again, it's just it's just that that attention. You get, get get that get that you know feeding that. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, it's a performance. And it's instant right? too, as opposed yeah, to like something yeah. on film. Exactly. Yeah. Just instant gratification. You do a yeah. trick, and then boom, yeah. you, know, you get the reaction. It's like, what? You know, I love. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> the cra- I get the craziest reactions. You know, it, it's awesome. Sometimes people just they stare and they're like. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. But actually, <laughs> they're just blown it. inside. Yeah, exactly. Like, I need to go home yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's, it's I need really to go cool. think about this. Magic <laughs> exists and I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, some, sometimes people really take it serious. They say, oh, so, you yeah. sell yourself to the devil. And wow. I, I do this trick, you know, something with, with my arm, and with this, the, the card pops up, right? Or something like that, and they just, like, they get freaked out. They walk away. <laughs> you know, like, oh, well, you know. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> See, I love I love the fact that one, it is a trick. I mean, it's blatantly a trick. Yeah. And sure, I don't always understand how it's done, but the fact that you can learn how to do it, I still love that. It's like yeah. watching behind the scenes stuff in a movie. I'm like, mm-hmm. I love learning how all that stuff happens. And just because I know how it happens doesn't detract from the beauty of the act. Yeah, yeah. from someone yeah. seeing someone do it well. Yeah. Even yeah. if you know how it's done. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I know how he did that. But it's still cool to see. Yeah, yeah. and the, yeah. it's a performance, right? Um, yeah. I mean, some people do. Um, Darren Brown. I don't know if you guys know him. Darren mm-hmm. Brown, hypnotist, magician. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm also into hypnosis, right? I did like Sweet. a whole course, hypnotherapy, right? Into that, the whole subliminal messaging, subliminal subconscious sure. mind, right? It's just so fascinating. But Darren Brown, you know, he sometimes he mixes magic with with uh, psychology yeah. and also you know influencing people, but also magic tricks. So sometimes he would take the simplest effect, you know, the first. The, the trick that you learn in a book from like Toys R Us, right? Mm-hmm. You just, he takes that trick, but he puts on the show, <clears throat> this whole performance that it's actually all about the mind and I'm actually influencing you with these with these triggers, Way right? With, well, everything. Yeah. And he makes it seem so amazing, <laughs> right? And I'm just fascinated because I know how the trick is done. Yeah. Because yeah. It's, it's a trick and it's so basic, but you're so mesmerized the by the performance, yeah. right? And he's so well-spoken and he's just... He's one of my heroes, one of my idols. That's cool. I think Very he'd cool. be like the modern Sherlock Holmes. He's just so yeah, good totally. at reading people. I would be in so much trouble. <sighs> Dude, it's so exciting. <laughs> so much trouble. Yeah. 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 So much for relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> this is my relax. I love this. This is great. Thank you. Thank it's you cool for too, because that's how you get different reactions is when, when somebody doesn't understand something, they react different ways to it. Some oh, totally. people are afraid, some people yeah. are angry, <laughs> some mm. people are you know, trying to be cool, but they're just pissed off inside and want to walk away. And then other people are like, oh my God, that was amazing, do it again. Totally. <laughs> Which totally. says so much about the people, though. Yeah. Well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't get the people who get angry or spooked. I mean, I've seen it happen, but I don't get it. I don't understand that mindset. You know what pissed them off more is to say, like, I understand so much more about you by the way you reacted yeah. to that now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> Totally. Scared so, you, huh? I made a deal with Satan. <laughs> You're afraid of things you don't understand. What? No. <laughs> you getting defensive here? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> That's yeah. That is so cool. I always up if I say things out loud sometimes. What? <laughs> who would beat you up? The angry person who the got mad at magic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I, I pointed see. it out. Which is weird because he's not even angry now. I, all I can think of is that guy in the corner that we pass almost every time. And then his little flyers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. I recently started taking the flyers. Because you know what? He's just such a nice guy. He's just the guy who's just trying to yeah, give just some flyers. To, yeah. <laughs> but hey, you know, that's just, I just, you know, just today, I always, I was always wondering, what is he saying? You know, you know what is he saying? And then just today, just 
Believe. He says oh, believe yeah. to everybody. Believe. He scares the crap out of me because he waits till I'm right next to him. <laughs> That's so true. And he yells it. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god. One of the first times. And I yeah. get angry. Yeah. <laughs> mm. One of the first times, yeah, I was just yeah. walking by and he would just do that. I'm like, God, you know, Jesus. <laughs> and he would say, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> That's like, what Jesus, we're talking about. Jesus, <laughs> believe in Jesus. <laughs> I thought he targeted me, but I realized there were like hundred other people in the yeah. intersection too. But yeah, yeah see, at oh, least man. him, I, I get, and at least he seems passionate about it. Is there's other guys on the corner who are like yelling and basically the condemning the everybody else? Yeah, like, dude, judgment on I'm, other people. I'm not a big religious person, but you don't need to be putting that negativity and judgment out in the world. You yeah. don't. It's just they're imposing a certain kind yeah. of belief, right? They're like, okay, believe in this. This is what's yeah. right. Religion wasn't born that angry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and, you know what's inter- even interesting is that they, in the summertime, they have these boots where you can sign up to be Muslim. Yeah. How, how do you, how can you do that? How can you just transfer your religion? Yeah. You know, just yeah. like, here, here's a pamphlet. This is what this is what it's all about. I'm Muslim now? Yeah. This is what it's all about. You know, this is what you do. This is what you eat. This is what you don't. Great. Sign me up. Right. Ah. It's just kind Can't of do strange. This doesn't yeah. doesn't feel right. Mm. It's not supposed right. to be a, like a to go. Menu yeah. for religion. Definitely not. What to... part do I get to keep my soul, and how much? Am I... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the fine print? Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. No, can't do it. I don't know how we got there. Probably my fault. Was my fault. Yeah. <laughs> well, Was then. my fault. <laughs> but it, I just, yeah. I, you literally have boggled my mind, which is fantastic because I don't. I think he's, you're probably our youngest guest. Really? Huh? No, wait. I'm sure we had a kid at some point. Like a little kid. Had we not had a little kid? Well, I'm we sure had we one of the little Walking Dead kids at a convention. But That's I think he's the youngest yeah, who's been in the, in studio. the studio. Yeah. And you're just so. Dude, I, I would have killed to have been as well balanced as you, which would probably be the first thing not to make me balanced. But <laughs> killing people is bad. Um, but thanks, dude. Wow, you. just fantastic. Thanks. What a head on your shoulders. And. I know, to, I'm so glad I saw that yeah. you were like you, you were listed on IMDb as being in the first episode of Orphan Black. Mm. And I was like, oh my god, Alex! I completely forgot about <laughs> it when we started doing this thing. Yeah, it's just you know, like Blackbird was my thing. It was, it was so good. Yeah. Now, are you are you at the point, and I don't expect a completely truthful answer on this, that you're tired of talking about Blackbird? No. No, okay. no, you know it's it's still great, you know, because that was my first that was my yeah. first film. Yeah. Okay, you know, and it's it's kind of it's kind of meaningful. It's kind of got sentimental value, you know. Yeah, I think that yeah, to be your yeah. and I like it. And I like it. I like it when people you know say, "Oh man, I saw Blackbird," you know, because you can get it on iTunes, right? And I, I tell people you can get it now, and you know, people ask me, "What can you watch it now?" And then. Um, once in a while, I get like a message. Oh man, you were great in black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Is, <laughs> is it on DVD or anything yet? I don't think so. I don't think so because I think they're still trying I keep, to. Because I know I'm following like on Twitter. Yeah. Right. The side. I think I'm following Jason too. Because I, I think they're trying to still um, push for for release in the for states the or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah in yeah. the states. That's cool. Um, they, they had a few dates, but um, I don't think it happened or anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they're still trying to do it. I love that it's on iTunes. So. If yeah. it hadn't been, I wouldn't have been able to see it. So. Yeah. But it's fantastic. I was completely blown away. It just goes to show you once again the amazing talent we have working in Canada. That's true. Ryan McNeil, take note of that. I'm just saying, our friend Ryan McNeil has a uh, his his own film blog and site, and he doesn't he's not a big fan of Canadian television and film, mm. despite the fact that he lives in Canada. <laughs> this is Canada. Come on. So yeah. We can't have him taking our market. That's true. <laughs> we have kind of cornered that market. But oh man. Alex, it was amazing to have you in here. This oh, was, thank you. Was, I was, I was walking up and I was almost afraid to tell Sue on the way in that I'm not quite sure what to talk about with this kid. I mean, one, he's going to be like at least 20 years younger than I. Am. <laughs> he's gonna, you know, I've seen one thing he's done. I know he's an orphan back. I know he's in Rookie Boom, but what am I going to talk about? And just magic. Well, and and that now coming away from this conversation. And knowing that I am usually fairly zen, I can just, I feel like I'm actually leeching some of the zen off of you and I can incorporate well, that into my anyway. life. Yeah. Yeah. Connected anyway. It's just energy, right? Yeah. It's just bouncing. See? Bouncing exactly. Back and forth. That's right. Just bouncing. And it never dies. That's right. Take note of that, religion. That's right. I'm just saying. So we'll have to have you back <laughs> when the coconut movie's coming out. Yeah. Yes. Hell yes. yeah. Yes. Now, is that shooting locally? Is that shoot? Where is that shoot? Or that's shooting in North Bay. Oh, that's North cool. Bay. Yeah. Well, no, it's, it's going to be. But it'll be, be in the summer. That's it'll perfect. Be in the summer. I remember yeah. North Bay. I was there in June. No, wait. 
Yeah, June of 1977. That's where I got my first pack of Star Wars cards. Nice. The Red Top Series. <laughs> my cousin's I'm sold. <laughs> so sold. And we used to play Happy Days, and I used to pretend my bike was Fonz's motorcycle. You know what You played yep. Happy Days. You played Happy Days. I never played Happy Days. Also where I had my first kiss. To be had in well, North action in North Bay. <laughs> Seems like I'm going to some historical place. Over there. Thanks, you know, thanks for that. Historical. <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> no, well, it's, oh, you know, it's got. Well, hey, you know. Yeah. Right? It's, My it's dad used to work in the mountain. And then, like on a weekend break or something, you got to go to Cochrane to the polar bear habitat. <laughs> the where? The polar bear habitat in North Bay. They have this. It's in Cochrane, so you'd have to travel for it on a weekend or something on a break. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still closer to there than it is than to it is here. here. Yeah. It's right. like a seven hour drive from here or something. Yeah. Maybe it's still too far. It's probably still Maybe too North Bay wasn't so bad. No. I think you should have stayed there, right? <laughs> no. Because yeah. no. the night we moved from North Bay to Borden, just outside Barry, I saw Star Wars. I grew up. For the first time. So there we go. First night we were in Borden. I think I wrote about that on the blog. I think so. Mm. <laughs> We've had some Star Wars memories. Oh boy. What was that laugh I just had? Wow. <laughs> See? Dude, thank you so much for coming. This was so cool. My pleasure. Thank you for having oh me. Oh my gosh. This, this is really, really, wow. I don't get to do this very often, but yeah. <laughs> we'll put you in on the one day we have to <laughs> sure. yeah. I was actually really nervous. I was really what? excited, nervous. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know what to talk about either. What am I talking about myself? Is this yeah. about me? <laughs> <laughs> And then you just chat. Talking about myself yeah, today. Today. We're just talking. Just so, energy, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. exactly. We're going to just have a quick look before I turn off the computer. Oh, look at that. Look at look that. that. 45 minutes Perfect. on the dot, folks. That's what we do. We got no op. <sighs> we are opless tonight. So, Alex, thank you for coming in. Keep much. us in the loop Absolutely. on everything you're doing because I see nothing but big things for you. I mean, you've got, you've got the talent, as we've seen. You've got the balance and the... I just hate you. <laughs> not, yeah, true. Hate you. not true. Not <laughs> true. I love to hate. I hate to love. One of those. One of those. I love to hate. Sue, as always, Tim, fantastic episode. Thank you. For we just keep me. racking them up. We sure do. Awesome. So, and everybody at home, thank you once again for watching. If you haven't downloaded, of course, make sure you get the Smithy TV app, so you can find it on all of our shows. And some other cool shows, like our friend Pat Mastriani has a show, so you might want to check him. Some guy named Jeremy Lalonde, who wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for us. He's a hack. He's a hack. <laughs> Doesn't know what he's doing. We love. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching, and good night. And yeah, see ya. I'm going to get up now and turn off the computer. <laughs> thank you. That was so cool. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, we're still on camera. Yes, we are. And we're still ready. <laughs> <laughs> Still recording, yeah. Just edit that part out.